Finishing the week on a strong note, plus $6,000 on the day, plus $1,150 on the micro. Trading two micros per 50K and one E-mini per 250K. And close to the hypotheticals on the day, the month, up on the month about 320 and up on the week about 1800 Big victory considering yesterday was such a terrible day. It was the worst losing day in the history of this current portfolio setup. So we ended up finishing strong on the day. We had a strong day on Wednesday as well. So Wednesday and today were strong. Yesterday was um, a big losing day. And so the sum of the last three days is around break even, even though yesterday was a tough day. So good to finish the week strong. Good to end up on the week and up on the month in spite of this massive noise in the market and let's go over the trades on the day as well as the market the hypothetical drawdown is minus 12.745 we were here's a portfolio calculator I've updated it on the website through yesterday uh, minus 18.745 is the drawdown out of 22.4750 um, down 18.745 on the month as of yesterday that'll be 6,000 better today up 6,000 on the day roughly and these are rough numbers and not final numbers, depending on the statement. And so our live results on the month are up 3.30 uh, because we waited for a drawdown to start. And so let's go over the trades on the day. First, the market. Yesterday, you can see all the noise in the market and how challenging that day was. I thought today might start to repeat yesterday right in this point, but it reversed and rallied for a nice smooth trend in the afternoon. And so... We didn't have as many opening trades at the open, so basically a gap fill, pull back, and run. So that summarizes the trade on the day. None of the NYSE ticks were up at the 1,000, well, close to 1,000, but the ticks were pretty low on the day. The, the high points came in around six or 700 instead of 1,000. This is one of those stealth, low volatility, grinding up trends. The VIX is down in the 18 handle. And let's see what the low on the day was for the VIX. The low on the day for the VIX was, see if I can get that. It hit 18.01 and bounced. So really precipitous drop in the VIX since the beginning of the year. It was up 23, down to 18. Big, big drop on a percentage basis. And so the market is trying to return to these low VIX, slow grinding, bull market rallies prior to the pandemic, trying to put the pandemic past us and return to uh, the markets that we had um, and then just try to work higher from there. So we'll see how long that lasts, trying to get the January effect going here. Here are the trades on the day. Viper had a nice trade at the end of the day. Tick reversal, got long, had some adverse excursion, then the market broke out to the upside. This is trading three E-minis, and now we're looking at um, tick reversal. These are tick reverse, two different versions of tick reversal. They took the same trade today. And so nice trade on both. Uh, momentum reversal took the long trade as well. And up on the day, 55.05 on three E-minis. The EVP1, this is one of the strategies that we liked at the beginning of the year. hasn't really done much this year. It's actually had uh, mostly losing trades this year. And so minus 1,300 per E-mini roughly. And so one, two, three, four, five micro uh, NASDAQ trades, E-mini NASDAQ trades today and micro trades took the same trades. Uh, four for five, the strategies were four for five on the day. The S&P had three trades on the day as well. Uh, you can see Mirror took the gap open trade. Nice trade there. And the market just moved higher from there. We could have just rode that all day. And tick fader, lost on the day. It was up, it was the only winner yesterday. So uh, one of the two losers today. And then momentum reversal on the S&P captured that move after losing yesterday. So the momentum reversal was in the same direction as the trend today. So it's reversing off of yesterday and nice trades. So once again, good Friday, 13th trades, up 6,000, up on the week, up on the month after a challenging day yesterday. So looking forward to next week's trade. Monday is a holiday. We're at that time of year with three out of the last four weeks are um, four-day weeks, and so we've had uh, Monday will be the third Monday out of the last four for a holiday, so have a good holiday weekend. Look forward to next week's trade starting on Tuesday. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems' YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. 
We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.